everyone, and welcome to the tavern. Let's not get sheepish because we're talking about the star sign of Aries. Puns, yes. <clears throat> For those who don't know, the star sign of Aries is a fire sign. It is representative of people who are usually emotional, energetic. They take command. They're not afraid of conflict. Good person to have on your side. Unfortunately, there are also people who are impatient, impulsive, lack self-control, and worst of all, have difficulty apologizing. Of course, you're not here for me to break down the star sign. You want to know the history of what this interesting ram actually is in Greek mythology. The story begins in a kingdom ruled by King Othamus. He married a nymph by the name of Nathel, who is very connected to Hera. Together, they had two children. Phroxus and Hela. However, like a lot of Greek kings and gods, he gets a little bored of his wife and decides to leave her for another woman. Now here's where the story tends to split a little bit. In some tellings, Nephel went to Hera and said, please curse that horrible woman that stole my king. And in other versions, the new queen was just jealous of the original children of King Amathus. Either way, what we end up having is the new queen destroying crops and causing trouble for the farmers and blaming it on a curse that can only be resolved if the two children are sacrificed to the gods. <sighs> Giving into pressure, King Amathus decides his only choice is to sacrifice his son and daughter in order to save his kingdom. As the sacrificial ritual is starting to be conducted, Nephili sends down a golden ram to rescue her children. Phryxus climbs on top of the ram and Hela joins him as well as they fly away on the ram away from their kingdom towards the kingdom of Colchis where they'll be safe. Unfortunately, in the Journey across the Mediterranean, Hela loses her grip and falls, unfortunately dying in the seas of the Mediterranean. Phryxus, however, does make his way to the kingdom of Colchis, where he is grateful to be alive and before long befriends the king and marries into the royal family. In celebration of his life and survival, he sacrifices the ram to the gods. And as a gift for his marriage, he takes the wool from the ram and presents it to the king, which becomes the golden fleece of legend. The golden fleece is then placed in a grove dedicated to Ares, where it is guarded by a dragon that can never sleep. And in some stories, if you take the teeth of the dragon and plant them in the ground, a soldier will sprout up out of the ground ready to fight and protect the kingdom. Frankly, while the story itself might not feel that important, it's just two kids escaping on a magical flying ram, the impact of the Golden Fleece is huge for Greek mythology. Not only is the, the story of Jason and the Argonauts, but the idea of this sacred wool treasure has remained part of our culture all the way to the present day, not only in terms of the Aries star sign, but the multiple retellings of Jason and the Argonauts. I hope this has enlightened you as to the importance of the star sign of Aries. We have plenty more star signs to explore and plenty more Greek myths to explore, but if you want me to go beyond the world of the Greeks, let me know in the comments. I'd love to know what legends you want me to explore and explain. Until next time, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And until we meet again, I'll see you at the tavern.